Know your power, believe in yourself and don't let anyone dim your light. Just because we're a girl band doesn't mean that we're not credible artists. I would never represent a brand that didn't represent different shapes and sizes. We set our goals very high from the start. Sometimes I felt I was being treated differently to my bandmates because of the color of my skin. I used to have really bad skin when I was younger. Pharrell is so hot. It is so important for people to speak out if they see any injustices. Imagine if everyone spoke out about injustices, we would be in a better place, I think. For years within the group I felt very overlooked and invisible, and I carried these feelings for such a long time, I just felt like no matter what I did, it was never on par with the other girls in the group. For too long people have been scared to offend people, or to say the wrong thing. You know what? You might say the wrong thing, like I might say the wrong thing, but we're all learning, and how are we ever going to see any type of change if we don't? More people are speaking out about, well, everything. And that kind of gave us the confidence to feel like we could speak out a bit more about things. What we're trying to push, as a group, is just equal rights. Why should anyone get treated differently, because of race, sex, or whatever? We're all human, we all breathe, we all have souls, hearts and I guess, all we can do is keep pushing this positive message. Our mums came on tour and mine was baffled by it all. She kept saying in the car, you just do this on your own, don't you want to be with people? This is so lonely. I guess we're just used to it, it is a funny little world. We were doing a gig in Spain and yet again had four hotel rooms that never get used. We always share a bed, so we're all in bed together and we've all got wind, and we thought it would be funny to put it on Instagram, farting on cue. I got a C for science. There is such a problem with racism, so to actually just say it and have so many people of color message me and thank me for saying something. I remember when I used to cry about it to my manager I used to be like, why do I feel like this, and she'd never say it, and I'd never say it. It was really strange. I know there are girls of color out there who have felt the same as me. We have a massive problem with racism, which is built into our society. I really wanted people to see that just because I'm successful doesn't mean I'm not going to be affected by racism. My reality is feeling anxious before fan events or signings because I always feel like I'm the least favored. We know already there is not enough representation of dark-skinned women in the media, that's just a fact. It's not easy being a female in the UK pop industry. We've seen the white male dominance, misogyny, sexism and lack of diversity. We're proud of how we've stuck together, stood our ground, surrounded ourselves with strong women and are now using our voices more than ever. I don't really know who I am. I used to get scared at that thought, but now I've stopped punishing myself for not knowing. We've made music to boost people up, make people happy and to inspire them. We've always had a voice as a four, we've been a force and we've always been very, we stick together on things. I feel like I've found myself. I never said that I was going to do a documentary talking about my experiences of colorism. I think people took it the wrong way with the working title, Leanne, Race and Colorism. That's not what I was doing, I'm here to amplify the voices of darker skinned women and hear their experiences. Racism, colorism, it is massive and I wanted to make sure I addressed colorism as well, so I'm happy I did that. Me and my sisters never saw race as a limitation on what we wanted to achieve. One thing we were doing were sleeping on racism. Too far often, black people are reminded of how far we have come as opposed to how far we can go. In doing this, we sleep on racism. I learned that the dream of being in the biggest girl band in the world came with its flaws and consequences. Consequences such as knowing about the existent underlying racism in the creative industries. No matter how far you think you have come, racism exists. We all know that racism is a massive horrible issue in this country and I really wanted to delve deeper into it. I wanted to use my voice to address colorism because I am so aware of how awful it is and it is just something that needs to be spoken about. What I address is that I know that if I was some shades darker that I wouldn't be in the band. I think that was so important for me to address because it is true. We know there aren't enough dark-skinned women that are being represented so that was something I really felt like I needed to talk about. When I am on my own, I get nervous and have butterflies. I wanted everyone to feel included by in seashell as far as possible. Anybody is a beach body is what I love to say. 
We all worry about being beach body ready. It's one of those really annoying things worrying about having the perfect bod. But really what is the perfect body? These sorts of conversations should be second nature, it shouldn't be hard to talk about race. I think when you look at Little Mix you think pop, color, you think fun, you don't really think that there are actual things that we all go through, but we all do go through things and we do have a lot to say. Even when we first got put together we always said we wanted to do music to inspire people, that was our main aim. We started out like that. I hope I can help one person and change things, my work will be done. I'm just a bit of a liability when it comes to driving. During the first couple of years of being in the band, I did feel invisible. I remember crying to my manager regularly, I just couldn't seem to find my place and didn't know why. I didn't feel like I had as many fans as the other girls. It was a strange feeling. I never thought that it was because I was the darkest member of the band. I felt overlooked. So I did everything to make myself more noticed, convinced I wasn't good enough. I know there are girls of color out there who have felt the same as me. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com